Hi guys, so I'm um, going to make a new video today. So I hope you enjoyed my VIP4. The homing temple was the hardest level of the VIP4, so... I don't know, what I was thinking of doing is making um, an LP, LP series for myself. These are the Let's Plays. So, I don't know, guys, if you want to um, pick me a hack, I'm thinking of doing maybe Padimodium Fortress and making a whole series about it. So, sweet. So, this video... It's going to be about the history of my little dog Maggie, so I'll tell you how I first got a dog and how I bought this one. So back on Christmas of 1992, so that was almost 17 years ago, so I was about 10 years old at the time. I bought my first dog, well I got this as a Christmas gift for my parents. His name was Pepper, so here's a picture of him really cute, awesome dog. Um, and here's another picture of him in 1993. And, uh, I don't know when this picture was taken. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> that was pretty cool. A lot of these dogs, like, have their, uh, have an overbite, so they kind of look like bulldogs. And, uh, this is the last picture I ever took of Pepper. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what happened with him. Right, that's Pepper. So he kind of resembles Maggie. Right, Maggie? Kind of resembles him a bit. Okay, so I had Pepper for about uh, 12 years. Um, fortunately, 2004 was probably the worst year of my pets. Um, my dog developed uh, lung cancer. Um, yeah, so he was coughing up blood and hacking, and he couldn't really uh, eat very much. So, um, fortunately, the right thing to do was uh, to put him down. So, for two weeks, I was two weeks after his death, I really couldn't take it. I, I really had to have a dog because, you know, the dog is um, man's best friend, and then it's a family member. You can't you can't just. Uh, forget him, because he's, he's an unforgettable dog. I had him for 12 years. He was, he was my greatest dog I ever had. You know, a bit more aggressive, but uh, he was a male, and male dogs are a little bit more territorial than the females. So, for two weeks, I, you know what, I just couldn't take it. I just had to have a dog. So, I went to the SPCA. It's the um, dog uh, ca uh, kennel, and I went to see the dogs there, and didn't like what I wanted to see, so... I went uh, two hour. I went to take a two hour drive with my parents. Um, we went to this dog breeder who's who bred Shih Tzu. So she only had like two left. She had Maggie, and she had a little puppy. That's um, it was actually a cute puppy. It was all black and had little white paws. But I didn't really like the black puppy because black puppy you can't really see see his face. So. Um, yeah, I decided to get here. So here's a little pic of um, Maggie when she was um, newborn. Wow, wasn't she a cutie when she was young? So now, here is her now. Maggie, look at the camera. She's four years old now. And uh, her birthday was in uh, May 10th of uh, 2004, so... And I thought, you know, Maggie, how about Maggie May? Because Ma Maggie, because well, that's the most common name of dogs, and May because um, her birthday was in May. And, you know, I thought about the Rob uh, Rob Stewart song, Maggie May. So that, that's, that was awesome. So, uh, let's see. I had her for a good two years and nothing happened. Uh, she was very healthy. Right now she's overweight. She's... She weighs at least 14 pounds now. Okay, then in 2006, uh, she had a unfortunate accident. Since we have forced air, like I showed you in my carrot thermopump video, it was a warm day, and Maggie had a collar with a little bell, you know, like to know that she's coming, like you can hear around the house. But the um, problem is with Maggie is that... Um, she was lying on the vent because she wanted to cool herself off and usually bark when the doorbell rings and um <laughs> she's trying to dream she got stuck 
So like uh, the bell got stuck inside the vent, and she like was cack coughing up. So she got stuck with the bell inside the vent, and she could not pull. I was not there at the time. I was in um, university. I just graduated this year. I uh, got my B.Ed. B.Sc. in chemistry. Now I'm going to a teach teaching degree, so I'm gonna get my B.Ed. in that and hopefully teach. So. Yeah, so anyways, so enough about that. Hey Maggie, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, so... Come here. Come here. So, she pulled so hard to get out, she actually had almost pulled her eye out of her socket. So we were very concerned, so we right away brought her to a vet, and um, she was fine. Um, surgery was about... Uh, at least two and a half thousand um, lesson to pay. So now she had we had to stitch her eye back in the socket, and we had to put that little um, lampshade, you know, you know those things when dogs are sick so they don't scratch their eyes. So she had that for a good three weeks, and the thing is, uh, because we had to do that, we had to shave her. So we had we had to live with a shaven muskrat. Because it's just used to look like rats when they, um, when their hair is very, very short, like almost shaven. So you know what I said? You know what? She doesn't look half bad with with a shaved look. So here she is, like all shaven. She's really due for a wash, and I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a video when she grooms. So because she really looks awesome. Like um, my neighbor says that she looks like a seal. When she's all nice and groomed, then uh, I think so too. She's really, she's a really awesome dog. Very friendly. Um, it didn't take me very long to train her. It took me at least um, what three to four weeks after. I just um, how I trained her is I made her do the tricks, and whenever she did the tricks, I should give her a treat just to praise her, and uh, she got the hang of it. A lot of female dogs, to be honest with me, um, that I've been keeping years of dogs like. Pepper and Maggie. Maggie is much smarter than Pepper, but she's also dumb at the same time because if you leave the door open and you don't watch her for a whole second, she'll take off around the street just like my Pepper. And uh, yeah, so we have to go looking after her, and all Shih Tzus are pretty much stubborn, but um, hey, they're good lap dogs, you know, they, they're very affectionate, very playful. If you saw my videos. And she's a talker. Her I never, never got Pepper to talk. You know, I miss, I miss him, and because um, he was my first dog and everything. I had him for, tw for twelve years, and um, he was okay. And uh, hopefully, I can have, um, hopefully, ten glorious years with her. She's four years old right now. Uh, her birthday is in May tenth, so that's going to be coming up um, in a few months. So she's going to be five years old. And you know, she's never aggressive, never bit anyone. Always very friendly, very affectionate. My girl. My girl. She's tired right now. But she's so cute. Aww. Okay, so that's my little video of my co-star. And, um... I think some of them is show her... Be seeing her more of my videos. Um, certainly not my tarantula videos, because, um... Putting a dog near a tarantula is very dangerous, you know, uh, especially some of my old world species, they can actually kill her. And she'll be in my starting lawn boy videos and my car sharing videos. And she wants to go down.